guys see that? That's our very first seedling in our garden. Hold on. Now can you see it? I don't even remember what that is. It's either Thumbelina carrots or carroty looking beets. I don't remember. Guess we'll find out. No way, there's another one. That is cilantro. I'm very sure about that. All right guys, I think we're ready for today's project. I've been working on video all morning. I had a neighbor stop by, so I'm getting somewhat of a late start. Jesse is actually flying at the moment. He has all the hours he needs and all the flights he needs, so all he's waiting on now is to get the okay from his instructor to take his check ride. And having that done, I think will allow us to focus on more things. We've also been thinking that summer is just gonna fly by. So one of the things we're hoping to do this summer is preserve a lot of food, both growing our own, foraging, and preserving whatever is available to us. We actually got a head start on our summer goals by canning some garlic scapes. Here's what's left of our canned food from two seasons ago. And while that looks like a lot, it's still here for a reason. We have a lot of fruit juices over here. We have a lot of jams and jellies, and we don't eat a lot of those to be honest. We have a lot of applesauce, again, kind of have to be in the mood for that. We do have garlic scapes from last year. These are not pickled, we haven't dipped into them yet. And then over here, we kind of have our gifted to us canned food section, which we need to start going through because there's a lot of really great stuff in here. So I guess you can say in this small break from the house, we've been focusing on food a lot. Food is something I'm extremely passionate about, and increasing the quality of our diets is something I'm really passionate about. I feel like when we're in house building mode, everything else in our life kind of takes a back seat. We're working from sun up till sun down, sun down. sometimes we're working till 9, 10 o'clock at night, and to make things just a little bit more complicated, Turn on some more lights so you actually can see me up in here. This is it guys, this is home sweet home. We've been living in a 19 foot travel trailer for three years while we try to build our house. I'm not complaining, it's been wonderful. It's given us the freedom to build a house, but it does come with challenges in the kitchen. The first being, we can only hold so much food in that fridge right there. There's no other way to say this except Travel trailers are designed for weekend camping trips. Maybe a week. That's all the space we have to cook on, and that's okay, really. But in there, we can really only hold a few days of food at a time. We can store a bit of food under here and under here. Except most of our food, we eat fresh. We don't eat a lot of canned foods or foods that store well. Until very recently, we've lived off-grid. That means no utilities, and no power. We've relied on solar power and a battery bank. But last year, or the year before, food storage was becoming a major pain point, and we didn't have the time to can, so guess what? We got a freezer. Come back to the dungeon, let me show you. There she is, guys. It looks like a big freezer, but it's really not. We have a bangle cat, we make all of his food raw, and we freeze it, so some of that space goes to the cat food. We bought a bunch of organic chickens for $2 a pound from someone local, and I think we bought like 10 of them? And that took up a lot of our storage space for a long time, and guess what? We really didn't have a good way to cook the chicken. So they sat in there, taking up storage space. We're starting to work through them, that's a different story. And then we make our own ice cream. That take up, takes up space. Ice cream is a primary food group. We're not debating whether or not we should get rid of the ice cream to free up space for real food. Ice cream is real food. 
So at this point, what you've learned is we can have a few days of fresh food on storage. We can buy a little bit of meat in excess and freeze it, but that's about it. So you can see it's been a really big struggle to get ahead. Also, because life's been a little bit chaotic, sometimes I forget to take the meat out of the freezer until it's dinner time. And I don't really like cooking frozen meat. I mean, I can, but you know, it's just one more barrier to cooking a healthy meal. So what I guess I'm trying to say is the past few weeks, I've really been racking my brain to think, how can I make cooking healthy meals easier? I'm also trying to transition us from running to the store every three or four days to maybe going to the store every two or three weeks once a month, in a perfect world, once every six months, but we're not there yet. There's some things we eat all the time, and then there's other things that we do enjoy, but it's probably not a staple in our diet. So I'm kind of playing with this idea, instead of running out to the store to buy salsa, which is very much like a mood thing for us, what if instead of going to get salsa when you have a craving, what if you get the ingredients to make salsa, and you make a large batch of it so you can can like six or 12 pints at a time? Taking that a bit further, what if we could find a process to easily can our meats like without thinking about it so that we don't have to rely on freezer space and our meat is already cooked up? Or what if we can meat sauces or soups so that at least it's our soups and not something canned from the store? What if with a little bit of effort I can get ahead without having to sacrifice our diets? And what if in the process we could actually increase the quality of food that we eat? The past couple days I've really been craving salsa verde or tomatillo sauce, something in that family. So instead of going to the store to buy it, I'm challenging myself to make it and I'm gonna make a lot extra. This is by no means the answer to my problems, but I think it's a step in the right direction. This is a fun project for me. We're just gonna try it out. Good. I'm glad we did it this morning. Yeah. This weather's turning south. Uh, yeah, I got to fly with a pilot who has 30,000 hours. Wow. He is bored out of his mind <laughs> trying to fly with me. But we did very good. Uh, he basically said, You're ready for a stage check with your instructor. Sweet. And Which is in two it, days. Uh, and if he feels good, then I'm off for a check ride. And it sounds like there's a uh, check ride guy who may be coming to our area soon. Sweet. So I may not have to travel far away and spend all of our canning money on getting my pilot's license. When Jesse went flying, he held my new paring knives hostage. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm literally having to saw these tomatillos. So these are two different paring knives we picked up from Walmart. They're cheap. I want a good one, but thought let's try these out and see how they do. I'm gonna try you first because apparently you're the latest and greatest in sliced bread.
I hope this satisfies my tomatillo sauce craving. That's a pretty big batch of tomatillo sauce, so here's hoping you nailed the recipe. It only seems very fitting to put more green stuff in there. Right? <laughs> Not oh, enough green stuff. That smells so good too. More green, more green! Is that the canner that my sister gave us? It is. We have not used this canner yet. Thought I'd test it out. Heck yeah. Thanks, sister. I was visiting her recently on a long cross-country flight, and she said, hey, can you take home a bunch of canned goods in that airplane? To which no. I said, I'm That's all alone. Yeah, I'm all alone. And so if that huckleberry jam explodes in the back of the airplane, I got problems. Yep. So Alyssa wants to know if I think all of this is just a big waste of time. I think the simple answer is no. Of course, we're at a different phase of this project than we were two years ago. Last year, I don't know that I would say it would have been a waste of time, but it would have been a burden for us to do. We don't love that we haven't had time to do a lot of this stuff, that we haven't had time to learn to hunt or start a garden or become experts at food preservation, but that's been our reality. But what I love about what we're doing now is, is if, if you guys had any clue how far Alyssa has come, I remember three years ago when we did our first canning project, I was like on Mars. <laughs> Alyssa had a knack for it, but she has developed so much confidence and she's refining the system. It was nothing for us to say, hey, we want to get garlic scapes, we want to can them, yes. to go get them, come back, she could show me her tricks and methods, and bam, within a few hours we have 21 pints right. of scapes. So now, if we're hungry, it's getting late, we're working on the house, and it's like, gosh, what do we eat for dinner? I don't know, we've, we've got scapes and yep. chicken, and let's do and, it. And, and this today is just kind of like having fun, but we've actually had times where someone offers us an animal, like a turkey or something, mm -hmm. and we don't have a way to preserve it, our canning stuff isn't convenient, like we don't have the system down, we don't live and breathe canning. So to me, by practicing this stuff, you are ready for opportunity. Could she go to the store and buy green salsa because she's craving green salsa? Yes, but we're trying to inch in many, many ways towards this self-sufficient uh, uh, lifestyle that we're, we're pursuing. I feel like these should be cooking down more than they are. Might need to use like a potato smasher. Guys, I'm not feeling the chunky salsa today. I'm just saying, it's time for the immersion blender. Guys, if you ever see a woman looking at immersion blenders, run. Run. Doing this in a blender, no. Oh, heck no. You have told me all the wonders of this immersion blender. All right, do Let's you agree? You're here. in the mood for non-chunky salsa? I am. Okay. Especially verde. Oh no, it's all steamy. Ah. Oh wow, this is awesome. Okay, love. Do you approve of the purchase now? I'm Look feeling at that. it. I'm Look feeling at that. It. Done and done. Done. Just rinse her off. Back in the kitchen she goes. And you only have to rinse that part. That's it. Instead this of the awesome. stupid tub and the blade and bang. Oh my god. Done. Someone heard that I'm putting a new shelf together. What are you doing? Do you come to help or what? Huh? Are you going to help today? You look like you just woke up. He's got that spunky look about him. But are you feeling spunky? Huh? Let's start with that. We're not going to taste test this. That's wise, right? Yep. So I think you preheated extra jars just in case we need them, is that right? Uh, I don't really know how many. The recipe right. says we should get probably six, seven, or eight. I would agree with that. I think right. we'll be very close. I think I see an opportunity to use the new funnel. Um, yeah. Come to me, the new funnel. Oh yeah. Way less messy. 
If you're not sure if you have a food gremlin in the family. Do they take photos of everything they eat before they eat it? Yes. If you go away to the store, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna go out and check the mail. And you come back in and your kitchen looks like this. You may have a food gremlin in the family. Want to get lids and rings? Yeah. So it's six and then we'll have a little bit for now, but it's not quite enough. Or maybe we could do a half pint. We can't have chili verde tonight too. You've already been cooking spaghetti squash and oh, yeah. Parmesan chicken in the crock pot all day. So we're going to have to can that. Let's see. We need these. See those? I didn't get to do any of these with the scapes. Three, four. I snuck a taste. Do you want to try it? You did? Yeah. I'll try I it. I want to see your reaction. It's going to get better. Because I so have my opinion. Now, it's, if it's good now, it's going to get better. <laughs> That's pretty It's a little good. bitter, isn't it? It's actually pretty good. It, it's a little bitter. That's salsa verde. <laughs> we'll it's see. We'll give it time. Sweet. Oh, it's edible. It's good. I think it'll get better as the flavors meld yep. together. What do you think? Can we make it work? I think we can make it work. Oof. Not sure who gets to lick the pot. It's That's satisfactory. If we both hadn't taken large monstrous right? bites, maybe we'd be there. There's stuff on the table we can scrape back up and put in there too. <laughs> <laughs> there, I picked up all the smeared brains. Oh, you actually did. We're there. Into the pool with your friends. See you soon. Help me do the honors. Ooh, baby. So pretty. All the little pepper seeds and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it guys. Dun, da, da. We did now it. Jesse has to see the dinner I made in the crock pot for the first time on this property. Why? Because we're using our power now. Oh, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. So you just put this in here mm -hmm. and it cooked all day mm -hmm. and now we're going to eat it. Yeah. And I was busy working on other things. What the heck have we been doing for the last three right? years? I mean, I cooked the green beans, but that's pretty easy. But spaghetti squash, we've been missing out. Can't cook that in our sun oven. It's too small. This smells amazing. We're not confused how to cook a meal. I've been doing that for a long time. Again, we're just really trying to work on our system so that we could have more meals like this, more often, less thinking, more work on the house, 
and be able to preserve more food without it being a big deal. And I think today was a really great trial run, I guess. I feel that the more I can in this little off period we have, the easier it's gonna be when we are working on the house, yet we still wanna go pick our huckleberries and make our apricot salsa. It's all about having a system so that it's easy. Thanks for joining us, guys. Time to grub.